Hello friends, welcome back to Bell's Library. I'm Heather and today we are going to be talking about my reading goals for 2022. Uh, I am super excited to be setting some new goals and getting kind of back into the groove a little bit with just trying to hit my goals. Uh, I, Definitely feel like 2021 went a little sideways towards the end, which we'll talk about in a second. Before we do that though, I would love for you guys to get down below, click subscribe if you haven't already. I also have my Goodreads and Instagram down there so we can talk bookish on all of the different platforms. I'd absolutely love to chat with you guys. So like I was saying, 2021's reading goals, I feel like started out so strong. Which I feel like this just happens every year, right? You make these goals, you're on track, you're like, I'm doing this. I did a quarterly wrap up, I did a halfway through the year, I was checking in on my goals, I was like on it. Um, and then the end of the year, we started really amping up getting ready to move across country. And uh, if you've been on my channel, I've been talking about this a lot because it's been like a big thing going on. So I really tried to kind of switch my reading from kind of using more of a mix of my shelf in the library to make my TBRs to I just really need to read through books on my t on my bookshelf to see if I want to keep them and bring them with me or not. And that kind of limited me in certain ways. And you'll see that as, uh, well, you won't see this that in this video. You will see that in my 2021 goals wrap up. But Suffice to say, I'm excited to make some new goals and I'm really hoping I can just stick to them throughout the year. I try to be specific and um, make these goals to where I can really measure them and track them well and easily. And I also started a little bit of a reading journal and kind of put some of this stuff into there as well so I can track it a little easier in there. And I'm kind of liking the pen and paper method a little bit more. I do track stuff on my computer sometimes electronically just isn't as good and fun and like enjoyable. So I just like the tactileness of pen and paper, you know? So I'm enjoying the reading journal thing so far. Anyways, I think I have eight goals for you today. And so we'll go ahead and start with those real fast. So first goal is how many books do I want to read this year? So last year I read 194, I believe. And <laughs> In last year's goal video, I said, okay, I'm gonna try and just like bump up my goal one more than the year before. Cause I think I saw Becca at Becca and the books, she does this each year. But like last year I had read, or the year before in 2020, I think I read like 103 books. So my goal is 104. I was like, okay, that's like doable. Um, I don't want to do 195. That sounds really stressful and like I'm going to put too much pressure on myself and so we're just going to mix that idea. Um, I put 120 books. So my goal is to read 120 books. I figure that's about 10 books a month. I think there's only one book last year or one book, one month last year that I didn't read 10 books in a month. Um, so I think that's doable without overly stressing myself out and putting like too much pressure on reading a ton of books because I do want to enjoy my reads and not feeling like I'm just trying to read to get through books. But yeah, we're, I'm, my goal is 120. My next goal is that I want to read more big books. And so I've been reading a lot of shorter books. I've noticed that I really enjoy shorter books when it comes to especially like horror. Um, but I also read a good chunk of, I've gotten into graphic novels a little bit more and some of that stuff, but I'm very intimidated by large books. And I really think they could be something I enjoy because you get so much more time with the characters and the world building and like everything. Like why wouldn't I want to pick up a chunkier book and just really get invested in a world? I don't know, it just stresses me out for whatever reason. And so for me, I'm saying that big books are over 600 pages. So in 2021, I only read five books that were over 600 pages. In 2022, my goal is to read 10. And I have already kind of looked at my Goodreads and put 10 books together that are over 600 pages. And I'm thinking like, I'll read about one a month. Um, I won't be reading one in January here. So then I've got one month where if I miss it, then we're okay. Um, so that's kind of my goal. And I will be coming out with a TBR that kind of goes over those 10 books that I'm thinking will end up filling into this prompt. And I've kind of spread them out into what months I want to do and that kind of thing. We'll see how this goes, but that's my goal. 10 books. We'll see if it ends up being the ones on the TBR or not, but over 600 pages, 10 books. That's the goal. 
Number three is to read more ARCs and keep up on my reviews to go with them. I have a NetGalley account. I'm only at like 48% or something on there as far as um, books that I have read and reviewed. And I just want to get better about that. I want to request only books that I'm really, really into. And then I want to actually read them before they come out and be able to put out some reviews on those books because um, I just want to see what new is coming out. I have so many books that are obviously on my backlist that I want to get to, but I'm like, there's so many of them. Maybe I just need to read from these authors their new stuff that's coming out and kind of just try and start with keeping up with what's actually happening now. Um, so that's kind of just my thought there, but I just want to make sure I'm getting reviews out for the books that I am getting and requesting and just kind of being a little more in this year, you know? That's, that's just kind of a thing, which kind of leads into number four, which is to read more new releases. Uh, I do have a whole video out about some of my most anticipated books for 2022, and I intend to kind of do these every few months, just kind of keeping up with new releases that I'm really excited about. And also just looking at like what's come out, like it's it, in February, I'm going to try and look at what came out in January and see what books maybe I can get a hold of that um, came out recently that I'm interested in. I want to just be reading a little bit more of what's relevant. So as far as kind of my more trackable numbers goal for this, in 2021, 17% of my books were from 2021 releases, and that's about 34 books. So my goal is to increase that to about 22% of my reading. So that's a 5% increase for 2022. So I want to read 22% of my reads to be 2022. <laughs> releases. That's a lot of twos. So there's that. The goal number five is I want to complete a few book challenges this year. So last year I did the Buzzwordathon challenge and I completed 10 out of the 12 prompts for that. And I want to continue this year and I want to try and see if I can hit all of them. And I actually made a TBR ahead of time to see if that helps at all. And then I also want to do the A to Z challenge and the pop sugar challenge. So I actually wrote out, I've got the pop sugar challenge. I've got all of the prompts and I can write in like, I'm thinking like weekly where I'm at with some of those. And then um, A to Z, it's just basically a title that starts with every letter of the alphabet. And then I also have, I don't know if I put the buzzword it's on in my thing here. I did put out a TBR and wrap up video um, recently about what I'm planning for the Buzzwordathon, which is um, a book challenge that was created by Books and Lala. So I will put that information down below for you guys. You can check out the different challenges, but I would like to try to complete all three. Um, and if I read anywhere close to how much I read this last year, I think I probably could just fill in most of it like without thinking too much. And then towards the end of the year, we'll see kind of where we're at and see how I can finagle the last few. That's kind of what I'm thinking. We'll see. So my next goal, goal number six, um, is about series because I have a problem with reading and finishing my series. So this is my series review page. I have like 30-ish some, I think it's almost 40 series on here that I'm currently working on. And um, basically like I have the series name and then I have so many circles, however many are, books are in there and then put an X in there if um, I have finished that book. So I don't know if you can see that really well, but there's a ton of series on here. My goal is just to finish 10 series. I want to finish 10. That's it nothing more like I'm not going to stress myself out and like trying to do crazy things. My goals in 2021, I was trying to do certain things and it did not work. I think I was trying too much. Um, I just, let's try and finish 10. I think I finished seven. Yeah, I finished seven in 2021. So just a little bit more than I finished in 2021. Let's just keep focusing on trying to finish up some of those. I think along with this, which I didn't really put in here, but I really want to try to read and finish up series a little bit faster because there's certain series that have it's been so long now that I'm going to have to go back and reread the other books just to like remember what's going on. I tried to finish out the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. I have the last book and I tried to read it this past month and I just, I was like, I can't remember a thing. 
And now I'm going to have to go back and reread the first three just to be able to finish that last one. And I know I enjoyed the first three, so it's like, it's not necessarily a bad thing to have to reread them, but I also have a million other things I'd like to read too. Like if I, I just need to like be a little more consistent with just keeping up. And so I may need to go back and like read some of those older ones and try and clear some of those up just so that they're not going on longer and longer and longer. They don't know how that's gonna work. But any series I start this year, I'm really hoping to try and like keep up a little bit better on. So goal number seven, this is one of those ones that really took an impact because I was reading off my shelves a little bit more um, in this past year. So hopefully this year I can make this work a little bit better. But I want to read for more authors that are other ethnicities than myself. So in 2021, I read 21% of my reads were from other ethnicities, and that was about 41 of my books. Now, why I say that it kind of got a little difficult towards the end there was I wasn't as conscientious and paying attention to this quite as much when I was buying a ton of books before and um, I've been better about it in the last couple years but a lot of the books on my bookshelves were from white authors and that means that um, I was trying to read all those books off my bookshelves mainly so the last quarter of my year really just did not do well for this number at all uh, although I was doing pretty decently at least for the first half when I was tracking it a little bit better. So my goal is to bring it from 21%, I'd like at least 25% of my reading to be from authors that are of another ethnicity. Uh, hopefully I can do a little bit more than that. I would like to, but like I'm trying to be reasonable with my goals here. And so 25% is the lowest I would like to be. And the very last goal that I have here, number eight, is that I would like to be more involved in the community. I have really gotten into doing more readathons, and that's been really fun lately. Um, I want to get into some read-alongs. I am thinking I'm going to do with Bookstara. I was thinking about doing my own readathon for the uh, like City of Bones series and like the Cassandra Clare books and stuff, the Shadowhunters Chronicles. Um, but it seems like I've seen a couple people that are kind of starting that, so I didn't want to like start a one when there was stuff going on. So I think I'm going to join in. They have that one going and then they're also going to be reading the Souls trilogy um, with a discovery of witches and stuff. And they're kind of switching back and forth between the series throughout the year. So I'm like, okay, I will join in with some of those. So there's some other relongs along the way that I'm kind of interested in. I might do that. But basically, I want to do some of that. I want to continue getting into some of these readathons that I have been really enjoying and loving. And um, I also maybe some of the book clubs. Like, <laughs> sometimes I read the books for the book clubs, but then, like, I always miss the live show and, like, never really get involved in that part. And I would like to try to do that a little bit better. So, yeah, just trying to get a little more involved in the community and that kind of thing. I found Discord this last year and just kind of, you know, getting a little more involved in that. I was thinking about maybe starting a Discord myself. I've kind of been playing around with it, but just the, the full idea isn't fully formed yet there. So if you guys made it this far, definitely say hey down below. Let me know if you have any goals. Maybe if you have a goal on Goodreads of how many books you want to read for the year or something, let me know what's going on. Um, or you have some read-alongs you know about, read funds you want to tell me about, or anything like that. I would love to hear it. And uh, yeah, just let me know what's going on and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye.